Hi, my name is Jasper Santillan, and I recently graduated from Carnegie Mellon University. I'm originally from El Paso, Texas, but I came to CMU to study material science and biomedical engineering, and I'll explain what those two things are. An engineer is just a problem solver that uses math and science as their tools, and a biomedical engineer solves problems with our own bodies. So that can mean creating implants, making prosthetics, um, developing tools and machines for doctors to use in surgeries or in diagnosing people. And for material science, it's really just the science of materials. And if you're not sure what I mean by materials, close your eyes for a second. And that's a world without materials. So I mean everything from the composites in the wings of the space shuttle to the glass and steel and concrete in the skyscraper to the metal in the parts of a car from things to skateboards, to plastics, instruments, everything. So material scientists try to understand what things are made out of, um, why those materials have certain properties, like what makes them conductive, what makes them good insulators, what makes them really strong, or what makes them uh, really stretchy. And we try to determine which materials are best for a certain job, and if we can't find something, then we make a new material. And when you combine material science and biomedical engineering, you get things related to biomaterials, like which materials are safe to put in our bodies, like implants, um, or we create materials based off of things that occur already in nature. For example, the hairs on a gecko's foot that lets it stick to things, or the nano ridges on butterfly wings that give them really cool optical properties and colors. And we'll talk more about those and other cool examples of material properties in later videos.